Hi everyone, this is Martha. I am a relationship counselor and clinical sexologist. You can find me at eroscoaching.com. I'm wearing my earplugs as you can see. And uh, sometimes you will find me wearing them uh, when I'm even taking my selfies. Uh, so I was uh, checking in today. My flight is 9.30 and it was uh, 7.20 when I checked in. And uh, found out that I was 3 kgs overweight. <laughs> so I'm flying Jetstar and you can check in online and when you arrive at the airport you just need to get your baggage tag so as I was checking in my baggage tag they asked me a few times are you sure you are um, below 7 are you sure you're below 7 kg and I was like I thought I already paid for 20 kg so then it went to the third screen and it was uh, are you sure you're below 20 kg I don't know why they do that so uh, before I arrived at the airport, I did weigh myself. <laughs> I'm 64 kg, by the way. <laughs> and then uh, my baggage was, uh, me plus baggage was 88. So I had a suspicion that I would be overweight. And lo and behold, arrived at the airport and I'm 3 kg overweight with my luggage. So they make you take out your luggage. <laughs> and uh, take out your 3 kg so they say you have to take out your luggage you have to take out 3 kg the system will not accept your bag otherwise so i had to open my bag and i took out uh, exactly 3 kg how i did that i don't know it was a miracle <laughs> basically i took out all my clothes except my uh, maybe tmi my bra and underwear so i put it back into the bag <laughs> into the check-in bag and so now I'm carrying around my clothes, 3 kg worth of clothes. And it makes me think about the emotional baggage that we carry around with us that is preventing us from living our lives fully because this is exactly what it is. I tried to check it in and I couldn't, so I ended up having to carry it. Now I have to carry 3 kg extra with me all the way uh, onto the plane and then off the plane through customs <sighs> so this is another thing about flying uh, 9 to 30 there are a lot more people around and oh uh, my god okay so I'm on the second floor Okay, so what happens when you carry around extra baggage with you, you, you can't function optimally. Say if I needed to run after the flight, um, the extra 3kg that I'm now carrying uh, will weigh me down and I could possibly miss my flight. And so this is uh, kind of linked to the physical uh, weights that we have uh, We eat more when we're unhappy when we're stressed when we're depressed and uh, This all adds up to our health So that's physical baggage the 3 kg of clothes that I'm carrying with me And then that's emotional baggage the pain that you carry with you the heartbreaks the childhood trauma uh, stress, tension, shock, anger, frustration. All these weighs you down and what weighs you down uh, is extra, it doesn't serve you, it's things that you don't need to be carrying with you. And uh, you should, you, we should, we should do what we can and let go of the rest. A lot of times, emotional baggage is not really something you can physically weigh. With this 3 kg that I'm carrying, yes, I can wear it. But when it comes to emotional baggage, you may not even realize that you have it because you you get used to carrying it around and you kind of adopt the sense of unwell as something that is part of well, part of you. And there are some people who are depressed who actually hold on to their emotional baggage like it's some kind of a trophy. 
and they don't want to get rid of it and they get angry with people who try to help them and so even as a counsellor and a coach I don't try to make people heal unless they're ready so sometimes uh, clients come in as a couple and we have a session and suddenly things shift in their relationship and they get upset the spouse gets upset that uh, they've been nagging at their partner to change to let go to heal and then they come to me for one session I say some things and uh, then they were finally ready to let go and uh, what they don't realize is it's not that I am so uh, good I'm sure that being a, a figure of authority being an expert attributes to some of that shift to people being willing to let go of things that they are unwilling to let go of for maybe years and years uh, perhaps the, the partner has been on their back on the same issue in the same way <laughs> in the same way for years and years so sometimes you are already at the age of uh, being willing to let go and all you needed is some support and some guidance but so that's why uh, sometimes when people go to therapies it seems to be very transformational because they are already ready they already took the step of booking an appointment knowing they're gonna pay for it so people who have invested into themselves are more willing to take charge they are already on the edge of deciding and so it's not true that you can let go of baggage um, uh, uh, you can't let go of baggage easily. It's also not true that you only need an expert to let go of baggage. It has to do with whether you're ready, whether you're willing to let go of it. And there are people who want to let go of extra baggage, whether it's emotional, physical. Uh, so it is important to get support because sometimes uh, you, you, you just need to feel that you're not alone and uh, normalizing the kind of uh, difficulties that clients face and how common it is with other people can be very very beneficial oh finally that table is leaving my god would not stop talking <laughs> but of course they are super happy because they're traveling as a group of friends um, and it doesn't serve us so sometimes what uh, is useful is you know, when you don't feel well, you are having the flu, for instance, you don't want to spread it to other people, and actually you feel grouchy and grumpy, and you just want to be left alone. And it's, isn't it, yeah, I know, isn't it funny? Because, uh, same, if you're not feeling well emotionally, you're feeling grouchy and grumpy, and you want to be left alone. So you don't go out, you don't go networking, you don't go dancing, you don't, you don't do anything for yourself, you don't do anything fun because you don't feel like it and uh, you stay by yourself and so uh, it doesn't mean that it's going away because the way you feel hasn't changed because you didn't do anything to change it and you are not willing to change it because you're just sitting in the corner feeling grouchy and grumpy so what happens if now I'm saying a big if what happens if you put yourself out there and you see uh, the world you travel you uh, go to events where there are beautiful, wonderful, conscious people, meditation circle, for instance, <laughs> five rhythms class, for instance, and you see people who are happy, who are carefree, who are vibrating at a high frequency, who are just uh, oozing, <laughs> oozing happiness, joy, sexuality, who are oozing juicy, yummy, uh, sexy. Uh, what happens when you have access to these kinds of people when you're feeling grouchy whether physically uh, sick or whether emotionally sick is that they inspire you to change they inspire you so isn't it amazing that uh, we can heal ourselves by actually pushing ourselves a little, little bit little bit little bit uh, going out meeting people who are of a higher vibration uh, so it is important 
uh, to check in with yourself. What happens if you have years and years of denial and you're used to suppressing and repressing and avoiding, not living your life fully and feeling heavy? Uh, you're not going to, you're, you're, it's just going, the pain is just going to drag on. It's just going to drag on and on and on. Um, being well and happy and yummy and juicy and joyful is a state of what is natural for us. It is the equilibrium of where we came from. And so when we are off it, it doesn't feel good. And so when we are off it and we are in touch with our intuition, we are in touch with who we are, we want to go back to it. We want to go back to equilibrium. We want to be healthy and yummy and juicy. And so, yeah, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> um, for those of you just joining me, I'm just uh, summarizing what I just said. I'm checking in to Changi Airport. I'm going to KL. It's just KL. It's only one hour. But I have three, 3 kg of extra baggage. They wouldn't let me check in with uh, extra 3 kg. They wouldn't close a blind eye. So what they did was make me take out 3 kg. And now I'm carrying around 3 kg of extra clothes. I have to bring 3 kg extra onto the plane and off the plane through immigration. Um, it's just clothes. But still, it's weighing me down. Now I can't uh, jump. <laughs> I can't dance to the gate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't uh, run for my life because of the extra 3 kg, it weighs me down. So it made me think about the physical baggage that we carry, the extra weight that we carry. It made me think about the emotional baggage that we carry around. And um, that is also stopping us from living our lives fully. So what, ha what happens for people who want to get rid of extra baggage? They need to first be aware that they're carrying this baggage. When it comes to emotional baggage, you may not be aware of it because you can't really weigh it. It's, it's not something that is tangible and things that are not tangible unfortunately especially us Asians we just don't really believe it we just dismiss it away being aware of the fact that it is extra it's weighing you down it doesn't feel good it's very very important how are you going to know that if you are used to carrying it around with you for years and years and years you didn't even know it how are you gonna feel better so counseling helps going out and being around healthy people helps people who are yummy juicy healthy people who are vibrating in a higher frequency and so you don't want to do that when you are fe feeling physically and emotionally heavy you don't want to do that because you don't have the energy for it you feel drained uh, so it is important to pace yourself it is important to um, push yourself a little bit for instance you don't think that you can go to a, an event that is four hours uh, you don't think you have that emotional physical energy for it don't go for four hours just go for half an hour <laughs> nobody says that just because you paid for an event you need to have value for money that you have to stay for the entire event you don't have to and uh, you can just also tell yourself that you're gonna challenge yourself to uh, go to, ten min uh, to an event 10 minutes instead or you would go to an event uh, of the right conditions for instance if it was cheaper or if it was uh, nearer to your house or office this is the reason why I make it a habit to uh, rotate my workshops and do them at different venues different times different days I experiment with it so that um, people have more opportunities to decide that okay I couldn't make that one but I could make this one I don't like this venue I don't like the format of this I don't like this that but I'll go to this or that so I keep trying okay so for 10 years I've been trying to get through my work my messages uh, in different formats and ways to different kinds of people different platforms so for instance I write I do videos I do workshops <laughs> I publish books <laughs> <laughs> I just don't give up <laughs> so oh uh, yeah I'm laughing by myself <laughs> so yes it's true <laughs> so how do you pace yourself for 10 years and not give up and not start to collect more physical and emotional baggage <laughs> you rest okay you rest don't treat it as a freaking race treat it as a journey <laughs> you rest <laughs> So yes, <laughs> mm -mm -mm. yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing now. <laughs> okay, so uh, I was so miserable just now because there was this group of guys making a lot of noise, and then there was this screaming baby, and then I start talking and making noise, and suddenly I've shifted my energy 
and suddenly I am happy. <laughs> so instead of letting things happen to you, you can make things happen so that you feel better. So what you can do is you can sing, you can dance, you can uh, laugh even when you don't feel like laughing. <laughs> you can go out even when you don't feel like going out. And uh, you know it's good for you. Your body will thank you for it. For instance, a nice roll in the park. But anyway, I need to go because I need to check in to... Uh, actually, I don't. I still have one hour. But what I like to do, <laughs> what makes me happy, <laughs> is uh, walking around um, and uh, checking out the bookstores and looking at books, uh, touching them, smelling them, <laughs> and thinking, hmm, do I want to get it? <laughs> so this is one of those things that I like to do and that makes me happy. <laughs> Even if it means that I'm carrying extra 3kg on me right now. Um, um, I, could, I could get rid of it, I could throw my clothes away and then just buy new clothes when I'm in KL. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but the thing is, this extra baggage, how nice it would be if we can just take it and throw it away. <sighs> Especially emotional baggage. So I have this online program, in case you don't know, I produced it last year. I made an executive decision, the executive being me, me and me only. <laughs> I made an executive decision last year to make it free, free for the rest of the world. However, unfortunately, how, however and unfortunately, a lot of people think free usually comes with a catch. Free use usually uh, is not good. So this is the reason why uh, I need to continue charging for my service, you get it? <laughs> and then uh, it forces accountability as well uh, and respect. <laughs> uh, okay, so I have this on uh, free online program called Clean and Clear. So you can check it out. It's called Eros Coaching, E R O S Coaching.com backslash clean dash and dash clear. Clean and clear with a dash dash in between the words. And uh, what this uh, online program does is it actually teaches you a lot of emotional releasing techniques. One of, the, one of them is my favorite called Lean Well Releasing. And then there's other ones like uh, Sudden Scream, like uh, Temper, Tantrum, where you uh, scream into your hand or scream into a pillow. And then Temper Tantrum is when you, uh, as the word suggests, you throw yourself on the floor or you scream out loud. Uh, people who are not used to expressing themselves will find it difficult to shout and scream. But actually, it is people who are healthy who can do shouting and screaming, crying. Uh, we get so used to having repressed emotions and politeness around us that actually we just keep it in. But actually, it's better out than mm. in. You know, we eat and then we poop, we, we drink water and then we pee. And it is unhealthy to have indigestion and constipation. What comes in needs to go out. The stress and tension and trauma from our childhood needs to be healed and needs to be released. And so a lot of people don't know how to let go and they hold on to it. So actually it is the healthy people who can, uh, who can laugh, who can scream, who can cry. And so when I make fun of myself, people judge me. People go, you're ridiculous, it's going to affect your reputation. You know what, after 10 years and um, being an older person, I, I really I get to a point where I don't care anymore. Um, and sure, I would like to help more people. And sure, I, I don't really like it when people think I'm crazy. Uh, but you know what? <laughs> it is the healthy people who can express themselves. It is the healthy people who let go of the blockages. It is the healthy people who... Um, are, are, are living their lives fully, freely and fiercely and um, I hope that through my life I inspire people to do the same it's not easy uh, it hasn't been easy for me either I've been through trauma in my life and I've been through shock and uh, I've been through uh, a lot of things and I've also been through a phase in my life where I, I couldn't speak up I, I could not speak up in the bedroom and also outside of the bedroom I could not speak up because I didn't know how I didn't have modeling in my life about how to speak up as a as an Asian woman I was told my whole life shut up sit down I was told uh, you talk too much I was told um, 
a young woman, you shouldn't talk in this way. So I, I wasn't <laughs> encouraged to talk. And then when I did talk, uh, the way I talked was also bad. <laughs> so for the longest time, I didn't have a voice. And I had to work through it. I had to heal myself. And I, I work with clients to be able to find their own voice as well in the bedroom and also outside the, of the bedroom. And I have a lot of compassion for people who struggle in life because I have struggled and I've gone through it. And when we, when we conquer life and we uh, heal ourselves, we shine and we encourage other people to do the same. We can also support other people in our lives to shine as well. So it is important to take charge of yourself and to heal yourself and let go of baggage so that uh, you, you, don't, you don't live your life with any regrets. <laughs> okay, so this is Martha and i um, like to thank you for watching this and I'm going to um, <laughs> walk around the airport with my 3kg extra <laughs> of baggage. Uh, okay, I, I keep talking about my 3kg extra baggage, but let's not forget, I already had other bags. So I had my handbag, I have my handbag. I have my backpack, <laughs> which actually contains my vulva cushion, because uh, it was another thing that couldn't go into my bag. Uh, and then I have my 3kg of clothes that I'm carrying around. So yes, and then I usually, uh, when I travel, I like to carry my pouch around my neck. So that contains my passport and my boarding pass. You know how you go through customs and then they ask you for your etiquette a few times. It just kills me. <laughs> so I just put it in this bag. And then they ask you for your passport, you know. Sometimes they ask you as you're boarding the plane, sometimes they don't. It's, it's just... Uh... So I, I always carry this pouch ar uh, around my neck. So I'm carrying uh, four, four bags, <laughs> that's pretty extra. Okay, so this is Martha, I hope I've entertained you for the day. Have a good day and week and long weekend and uh, be happy, <laughs> be happy. Laugh at me, laugh with me, laugh for me. <laughs> okay, bye.